looks aggressive, but I don't think there's, I think in my head something's saying that that's wrong for the opponent's position. Something is telling me that it's wrong. I know it's targeting this pawn here. I know the queen's targeting this pawn here. So it's tempting to just go here to support that um, attack. Something's telling me that that is wrong in terms of me actually coming here. Should be okay. Queen comes down to take. And somehow I think that that's getting trapped. The queen. So it's coming here. So it's going to be on our knight which won't have any protection on. And if we move the knight to attack the queen. The queen takes the knight. Right, okay, so there's a little bit of a whirlwind situation going on with this position. Something is telling me that that ain't right. If we brought the knight here, he brings the pawn down. Hmm. Could simply just push the pawn, but he's got the two on one. What is it? What is this? Alarm bells ringing. Come on. What is the answer? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. One comes down. Now it's got no protection on it. Queen comes up, but then he gets the rook, so that won't work, will it? Hmm. I don't want to end up kicking myself. I know that that is wrong. Something. Come on, what am I missing? Go here. Bishop's not going to take because he loses queen. It's got to be that. It's got to be that. He squishes down to attack the knight, yeah, with a check on the king. So he's no longer got this anymore. So we'll just bring the knight back around again. I think that's it, isn't it? Job is done. He's gone for the two on one again, but it's slightly different position. This time though the queen can take. So if we did go here, he takes here. Yeah, we're back to that situation again. Come on, the answer is right in front of my face. Could just bring the knight here. Attacking the bishop. Yeah, let's do that nice and steady. Just it's a ten minute zero increment game, but it feels like I've got plenty of time at this moment in time anyway. Because they've spent quite a bit of time now with just these two pieces and we've kind of really developed three pieces now. We've got the bishop already developed on its own right because it's managing these squares. Now the bishops have to go back. This has got to be a serious issue for the Queen. I am looking for the cheapy and just going here. I really don't see a problem with that. The computer's going to say, no, you shouldn't have done it. But I am actually just going to go for the Queen Exchange. <gasps> so his Bishop's going to be on the Knight. And this Pawn's going to have no protection. 
Is there anything else the queen could do or any other piece? Could attack his queen with a smaller piece. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong. I can't get to his king at the moment. Attack the queen. He might not exchange. But hopefully we'll, we'll win a temple. Yes, okay, he's taken. Yes, a little bit of an aggressive player. I'm, I'm, ooh, he's losing tempo, big style. Well, I'm hoping he's losing tempo, big style. Not developed, he's just using the knight singly. Um, what's the deal with that? So if we attack it, is he wanting us to open up this dark square because his bishop... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If we go here, and his bishop comes and puts a check on, I suppose we push this pawn as well. Then he's got two pieces under attack. Let's see what he wants to do with this knight. Is it going here or something? Okay, so he's doing a little bit of a dance. The computer's probably going to go, he should just do a small pawn move, but then he's just going to go back here. So let's attack it, it's got no protection at the moment. Okay, so he's moving a little bit swift now, dancing with the same, the same knight. We could queenside castle. They may go and castle at this point. Okay, so we've got a white square bishop that needs to get into some sort of activity. I'm going to bring it here. And he wants to get our white square bishop off. He's moved that knight again. Right, crazy. Let's just bring the bishop back. Oh, he's moving. I think he's moving fast because he's wanting me to lose on time. That's what I think. I think he's moving quick just to do that. Let's now attack the knight with a smaller piece. Let's take the knight off the board. And we should... Maybe castle kingside because... No, I'm going to castle queenside. idea of a simple attack here then we'll have a two on one on here if he does move let's just do that just keep it simple it's attacking us could take it takes uh, don't give us much there could push up it's probably better pushing up because we don't want to invite their rook into the game do we so i think just pushing up I think we wanted to take here, didn't we? But I um, might have changed my mind now. Take pawn takes because his bishops are covering both all these this file here. Let's take it anyway. Let's double up. Usually doesn't make any sense doubling up when they've got bishops, you know, guarding this area. You never get through. And let's just double. Nice little spot for the bishop. Oh, dear me, are they watching me? Could push the pawn and could bring the knight across. Just bring the knight across. Time is running down now. We're into the um, mini blitz area now. Do, 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 do. Let's move the king. Let's push the pawn. Bishops on the on the raz. Sit the net pawn. Save 
get the pawn again. This bishop's looking to get this pawn here. I'll get the rooks protecting. What's the bishop attacking? Looking to come down and defend. He's actually defending with the rook. Let's hit the bishop. Bishop's protecting. Let's hit the bishop. Bishop comes down to protect. Attack the bishops. Rather, the bishop. Interesting time. So let's take. It's getting more interesting by the minute. Look comes down. Oh, we can't do that, can we? Ooh, two minutes I'm on, two minutes I'm on. Oh, let's put a check on. Ooh, so focused on this here. Let's go here. Um, do you know what? Let's save that. Go there. Oh, there's no saving about it, is there? It's still not going to land on that square. Okay, let's try that again from the flip side. Let's go here. And then we can go there and checkmate. Oh, that was that was all right. That that was okay. Again, let's have a look at the analysis. And let's watch the computer make mince me of our counter calculations. Off we go. So attack through the center. Oh yeah. They, we thought there was something not quite right with this bishop move here. Knight a4 is the suggested move, so that's fine. We took ages over it, it just didn't feel right. It didn't feel like it was strong. But if you don't play it right, then you mess it up. And, okay, obviously I didn't play it perfect, but, you know, brought the knight back down. Still showing a slight advantage, 0.5. <laughs> it's not much. <clears throat> Queen comes down again. We were saying it's getting closer down towards our pieces. He's not actually going to maintain that diagonal there. And in essence, it's like giving us a little bit of tempi. So we come back down with the knight. It dropped, but not very far. Knight b5. I am looking for the answer on this one. Knight b5, which one? Which knight? Oh, this one can't move, can it? Uh, Knight b5. Ooh, nice little fork business going on there. Ah, I didn't focus on that. I was so fo busy focused on what damage they can do to us. So we brought the knight back, so we lost a few points there. They took the bishop away. I knew it would, you know, I'm not even bothered. You know, I'm not even bothered, you know, going for the queen exchange. I knew it would drop. And what's it saying? a3. So it's saying smaller piece attacking a higher piece. That, now that really does make sense, doesn't it? You know, that's fine. So that's twice I've done. Oh, um, sorry, not done the smaller piece attacking the higher piece in that previous game, uh, where the pawn should have been just pushing onto the knight, and in this game here, where a simple pawn pushing onto the queen would have sufficed. Okay, that's I, I need to be paying more attention to the to that. I really do get tunnel visioned on if they've got big guns in there or if they've got complications going. I'm just, I really tunnel my vision. I need to rein it back in a little bit more. So we eventually do that pawn move, but you know, it's late to the party. So we capture, capture. 
and didn't feel that we were losing in any way now we felt that the opponent was losing tempo by utilizing this night move but it's okay saying they're losing tempo you have to be able to do something about it so a small piece attacking a high piece and it dropped very slightly bishop e2 it's saying so the bishop going to attack and also giving space for the king to go and castle so that would have been the move okay yeah, so a smaller piece attacking the higher piece, and then the knight moves. I'm going to bring the bishop out, attack him, and bring the bishop back. Just looking for the major stuff. Um, doesn't like the bishop move now, but knight b d. No, I'm not moving my knight again. That's fine. And knight across, attacking the bishop, moving the bishop. Smaller piece, yeah, we're, we're in the zone now with the small pieces attacking the high pieces. Capturing. This all felt half decently smoothish in terms of the targeting that I was saying to myself. But I just want to see what the computer's saying. Yeah, we didn't want to take, didn't want to invite their rug down. And captured. And now we said, we said here, well, doubling up really is going to be a bit of a farce, isn't it? Because they've got the bishops there. I wonder what it's saying. Bishop takes b6. Oh, you're having a laugh, aren't you? Yeah, having a laugh. Where did I see that? <laughs> oh, dear me. Uh, do you know, I think a fleeting thing would have been, if it did come across in my head, would have been the fact that, well, if we do go there, this rook comes here, then we have to move the bishop out of the way, and it's like facing this pawn here. So that would have been a fleeting thought, if anything. Okay, so it's dropped massively with us looking to double up, and we do double up, and it's showing a draw here. Yeah, so probably need to. We already knew that doing the doubling on this area was bad, so we should have fought us. So apart from this bishop taking here, obviously, you know, um, what else would have been better? Shaking something up somewhere, night, 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 night. Maybe the knight coming here attacking the pawn. Although I didn't see that the pawn was free, but in the back of my head, I would, like I said, I would have been thinking if we go there, then the rook would come here. But if we brought the knight across, then it is doubly attacking. Obviously, they expect this to drop. So maybe the knight comes through. It's slowly dropping, so it's not a major drop as in the doubling aspect. So that's just something to think about, I think, because, you know, I'm, I know that it's bad doing that doubling here. There's got to be other things to be done. So this is just training, retraining my brain. If I get into this type of situation again, really do re-look at it and see what else that can be done. It is dropping slowly, but it's still an advantage of a plus 1.5, so I think that that is okay. Don't think the bishop's going to take. I think they'll be looking to try and own the file. So well, that bishop can't even go there now because it's going to get taken. So that might have been a good spot. Okay, so I can't speak for them. Maybe they'll go for a lazy man or something. They go for a lazy man, we can go for a lazy man too. But let's have a look, see if there's anything else. Definitely not. Knight doing an okay job there. Bishop really defending the knight. Not happy with that. Lazy man pushing towards the king. Ah, it's, it's not dropped too far. Interesting. That's the type of thing I should be doing if I've got this bishop and bishop guarding the file rather than going for the doubling of the rooks.